What's the purpose of the visit? Are you Michael Bullock? I have a to serve him an order of protection. Are you in the house so we can just serve you the papers? No, ma'am. Can you do a 360 for me? No. Can you take off your belt? Can you take off your belt, sir? No. There's three police on scene. Three police okay. are in charge. And what crime do you are you detaining me for currently? I just answered. Trespassing. trespassing. We need to ID you. We're not trying to charge you with a crime. You have to have a trespass that, warning right? first. You have to give yeah. me a, you have to give me permission to leave. You but, can't just give me a ticket for trespassing. I'm not trying to give you a ticket. Then no. what ID what do you need ID for? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we explore our rights and the responsibilities that come with them. Today we're looking at a compelling situation sparked by one person filming in public. What happens when your right to record classes with law enforcement's duty to keep things safe? The ability to document these encounters not only provides a personal record, but also serves as a means to hold everyone accountable for their action. And in this video, we see three tense, but insightful discussions between journalists and law enforcement, balancing public rights and security measures I have included the links to these awesome channels featured in the video description. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts with us. I'm looking for uh, Michael Bullock, Cook County Sheriff Police. What's the purpose of the visit? Are you Michael Bullock? I have a to serve him an order of protection. I just had court yesterday about all of this. Um, Are you in the house so we can just serve you the papers? No, ma'am, because uh, that has makes no sense because the order of protection has no logic to it as the judge says so that's like transfer well we still have to serve it we still have to serve it it's not we're not harassing you excuse me can you do a 360 for me can you do a 360 for me no. can you take off your belt no, i can't talk to you can you take off your belt sir no can you do a 360 for me i don't have to I'm a police officer. I don't have to talk to you. Okay. But you have an order? I don't have to talk to you. You have an order of protection? We're just trying to serve it. Huh? Take off your belt. They emailed me already. They emailed me already. Okay, what do I have to, what is, what do I have to take my belt off for? Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? First of all, where's the paperwork? We have to fill it and serve it to you. You have just, to fill it and serve it to you, but nothing is it's a short form order. We have to give it to you, and then you have to go to the courthouse and get the full order yourself. Look, we, we're recording. If you if you gonna come out and get the paper, or you know, because we are recording, we're not trying to be slick or anything. We have a job to do. They gave us our. It's in the car. Where's the paper? It's in the car. So why did you come to the door without the paper? Are you home? Why did you come to the door without the paper? Because we don't fill it out unless someone's home. Because it's a, it's useless to fill it out no. every single one of these we do. Well, we got the paperwork. If you're not home, it doesn't matter if we have the paperwork or not. Take off your belt. You will never see me. Okay, well. All right, we're done. Okay, well, goodbye, then. We're, we're done. We are recording. Goodbye. Take off your belt. Take off, do a 360 for me. Or take off your belt. I don't talk to people with weapons. Y'all have weapons on y'all. Y'all kill people, right? Stop bothering me. You're harassing me. All right, folks, buckle up because 
we're about to dive into a super important lesson on handling law enforcement when they show up at your door. Our buddy from IBP Entertainment gives us a stellar example here. Instead of opening the door when deputies arrive to serve papers, he uses his ring doorbell camera to chat with them. And here's the kicker. He even asks them to take off their belts and do a 360 degree spin, highlighting just how ridiculous some requests can get. This moment is more than just a funny interaction. It's a, it's a crucial reminder that we don't have to accept unreasonable demands from law enforcement. By asking the deputies to perform such a quirky task, our friend is making a strong point. We shouldn't have to compromise our safety or dignity just because someone in authority is at our doorstep. So what's the takeaway here? First, always remember that you have rights and boundaries and when law enforcement arrives, you don't have to answer the door or engage beyond what's necessary. Using tools like doorbell cameras can help you manage these situations safely while keeping a record of what happens. Our friend's calm and assertive attitude in this video shows how staying informed and prepared can make a big difference. It's all about knowing your rights and standing up for yourself in a respectful way. And hey, it's also a good reminder to law enforcement, approach each interaction with respect and a focus on de-escalation. So next time someone from law enforcement knocks on your door, remember to stay cool, stay safe, and keep your dignity intact. And to everyone in law enforcement out there, let's aim to handle these situations with empathy and professionalism. Because I'm on private property or is it because I'm suspicious? Because we're called here for a suspicious person, that's why I'm not working. Okay, then I don't wish to identify myself. Well, then we're going to have to talk about that. Okay, let's talk about it. Do you not want to talk about it anymore? No, we're, gonna, we're not going anywhere. Oh, okay. Am I free to go? Am I being detained? What crime do you suspect? What right time? Now, what crime are you detaining me for? You're not, like I said, we're right now just looking at your. We, we call this is called a suspicious person as someone. So, in their car. Is that a is that a misdemeanor or, or a felony? Being suspicious what? is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Being suspicious. Hey folks, listen up because this is super important. Is suspicion a misdemeanor or a felony? Spoiler alert: is neither. If you watch enough of our videos, you'll get the hang of knowing what to say when cops start questioning you. This guy just told the cops. They don't have reasonable, articulable suspicion to detain him and demand his ID. How cool is that? He knew exactly what to say because he'd been watching our videos. Even though this is one of his first encounters, he sounds like, remember, cops need reasonable, articulable suspicion to detain you and ask for your ID. But to actually take you into custody, they need a, a clear, articulable fact that you've committed a crime. And guess what? Cops get this wrong all the time. Stay informed and stay confident. We're just trying to identify you. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm being detained. All right. Why am I being detained? We're trying to figure out who you are and what you're doing here. That's it. What crime do you suspect me of committing? All right. We didn't say there's any crime right so now. So what am I being detained for? Because right now we're, it was called as a suspicious person. What crime do you suspect right. me of committing to be so detaining me right now? Right now you're parked on private property. Like can't leave property, because you're right? detaining me, though. What you crime do you suspect me of committing to be detaining right. me right so, now? Can I, can I explain, sir? Is there, who, who's the leader right here? May I explain? Who's the leader right here? Are you in charge? I'm not in charge. No. Who's in charge? Are so, you in charge, sir? No, no. Our sergeant is occupied right now. Can I explain what's going on? Don't touch me. No, no. I will. If, can, can I just explain? No. Well, you had a question. What am I being detained for? Yeah. I'm gonna, what? I'm going to answer it for you, pal. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, can I explain? I'm asking what crime. I'm not asking for an explanation. I'm asking what crime do you expect me of committing that I'm being detained for right well, now? Well, technically, it's trespassing because this is private property. So, like he explained to you. So, so but I have, to, so, I have to refuse to leave, so, though. No, 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 no. Not true. I let everyone, let's break down what just happened with this cop. First off, it is important to know that according to the Supreme Court, cops can lie to you. Yep, that's right. Sometimes they might not know or care about our rights. So let's simplify trespassing laws in the U.S., which can get a bit tricky depending on where you live. Trespassing can have both civil and criminal consequences, and the rules can change from state to state. In general, criminal trespass means entering or staying on someone's property without their permission. This could be going into a building, wandering on a land with a no trespassing sign, or staying somewhere after being told to leave. But if you're out hiking and accidentally step onto someone's land, that usually isn't considered criminal trespass. In many states, the property owner has to give you a warning or notice before you can be charged with trespassing. This warning can be verbal or written, and it can include telling you directly to leave. If someone is charged with criminal trespass, the prosecutor has to prove 
that the person deliberately entered or stayed on the property without permission. Penalties for trespassing can vary a lot. You might get fined anywhere from $250 to $500 and could face up to a year in prison. There are some defenses to a trespassing charge, like having permission, it being a public necessity, a simple mistake, or having consent from someone who has the authority. And guess what? The guy in the video knows all this and he's doing a great job standing up to the cop. Stay informed and you'll handle these situations like a pro. Can I so, this is where it <laughs> everybody wants to give like half a cent. No, I'm trying to you said, you said your, you, you said your, you said your supervisor's coming, correct? No, he's not coming. You okay. asked if I was in charge and I yeah. said no. Okay. So who's running the show right now? Because everybody's giving me like half a two cents. There's three police on scene. Three police okay. are in charge. And what crime do you are you detaining me for currently? I just answered. Trespassing. Trespassing. We need to ID you. We're not trying to charge you with a crime. You have to have a you trespass warning that, right? first. You have to give yeah. me a, you have to give me permission to leave. You okay. can't just give me a ticket for trespassing. I'm not trying to give you a ticket. Then no. what ID what do you need ID for? You're detained because of that. I'm not trying to give you a ticket for anything. You understand that? I don't understand that. Because if, if reason why we're out here, if I could explain. The so, whole reason so why I'm, we're out here. No, no. You're in an RV parked across from an elementary school. Correct. That's the reason why we're here. Because okay. you could probably agree with us that it is suspicious to wait in an RV the entire day across from an elementary school. Wouldn't you agree? No. Okay. That's well, in the eyes of subjective. the law, that is suspicious. And you are... Really? In the eyes of the law, that's suspicious? Yes. Where in the law does it say that an RV across from a school is suspicious? It doesn't have to say it anywhere. In okay, that's very ambiguous. I understand if y'all want to come out and make contact with me, cool. Yeah, but to have three police officers say, no, you're detained, yeah. after you made contact me, with me and I'm willing to leave, that's unacceptable to me. So that's why I'm just not willing to deal with y'all right now. I feel like that's... Okay. If, if you're... Well, I'm trying to explain it to you. Well, well, I mean, what, what what's your end goal here being here? Do you want me to stay or leave? We'd you want like, me... To... We'd like to identify you. So, you. so your whole purpose of stopping here is just to ID me. It's not to get me to leave the property in general. So I don't understand how that helps your basis I, I, I of, of trespassing. I think ultimately it would, would be best if you left, but right now we need to ID you before anything happens. Okay, well, at this time I like to remain silent. Okay. I'm just here because I'm a school officer and the school called. That's all. Okay. I apologize. I don't know if you were working all day, but no one came by to no, make no, contact no. with me earlier. Okay. Yeah. Um, to my point, there's no no trespassing signs in front. No, I get it. My experience, we've had people over here, and I'm not even accusing this. I've had guys taking pictures of kids. You've had sex offenders around. I'm not, I'm not even going to I don't even want to. Okay. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. Call me a pedophile. Disgusting. You have, get Get out of here freaking disgusting have a gun on your hip i don't consider you a murderer ridiculous wow i don't wish to answer any questions well is this thing registered i don't wish to answer any questions but this isn't registered that plate's not coming back to anything right now so that's a problem Am I still being detained? Yeah. Can I request the sergeant come out? He's a little bit busy right now, but we're just trying so to... So am I not able to request the sergeant? Sure, but he's busy right Okay, now. I would like to request the sergeant then, please. Right. Well, we still got to figure this May out. I... Okay, can I still... Is that going to hinder from me requesting a... No, we can have, okay. have a supervisor. He's just going to be a little bit. Okay, m before he's requested or before he comes out? Before he comes out. Okay, that's fine. Can we go ahead and request him then? Or do you not want to do that? Because now you're just walking away when I'm asking for a supervisor to come out. Y'all want to act like, oh, I'm just having a conversation with you. When it comes time to me asking something specific, I want to walk off and do whatever. Are you curious where a sergeant is right now? No, I'm, I'm curious why I cannot ask for a sergeant to come out. You could. He's on a medical call, which takes priority over your request. It takes a, my request, my rights. I'm just asking. Y'all are crazy. No, like okay. You can could, could so, ask and we could say no. Okay, then say no. He's saying yes, but then walking away. Yeah, well, he, he's on So a that's why my response is like, how are you going to say yes and walk away? And then you get all defensive. He's on a medical call. If he would have said that, cool. But he, he didn't he, say he, that. I'm not defensive about anything. Yo, all. Well, y'all are detaining me, so you're very defensive. I'm not. I'm doing my job. This you're not doing... You, in my opinion, you're not doing... I, yeah. You can have any opinion you want. Yeah, okay. At the end of the day, we are doing our job. Okay. Well, so you're still you, talking about me about whatever. Whatever opinion you want. That's fine. What do you do for a living? 
Are you in law enforcement? I do not wish to answer any questions, and at this time I'm going to remain silent. This is a sick man. Again, I'm. I wish to remain silent at this point. I'm not. Okay. No, because what I'm saying is, like, we could totally get you on your way if you could just provide us your information. You'd be on your way in two minutes. All right, folks. Here's the deal: when you're dealing with police, if you're not sure what to say, the best move is to keep it simple. Mm. Just say, "I don't answer questions." And if you want to be extra cautious, at at this time, I'd like to stay silent. Now, let's look at this situation from another angle. If the cops show up, it might be because someone called them, maybe because the guy seems suspicious, especially since he's hanging out across from a school. The car and the guy might just look a little off to some parents. So what can the cops do in this situation? They can approach the guy and talk to him, take a picture of his car and even snap a photo of him in public. Here's the kid I'm wet be to understand the limits of their authority if the guy is up to no go. Good. The cops at least have a record of what he looks like. This particular cop thinks he's dealing with a newbie, but that's not the case here. The guy knows his stuff and the cop is trying every trick in the book, but none of it is sticking. And don't forget, there are other officers around who might be pulling their own tricks, but it's all just smoke and mirrors. I don't believe that's the only missing piece. I, I don't believe I've committed any crime to be warranting me to ID myself. I feel like criminals have to ID themselves. I'm, I haven't done anything wrong. Sure. If you have nothing to hide. And there's another tactic the cops use. If you have nothing to hide, why not just tell us who you are? Then there's nothing wrong with you providing your information. If you don't have any law to state that I have to provide ID, then you have no right to ID I me. Just it to you. Oh, I disagreed with you, so we're waiting for a sergeant to come, I guess, after his medical call. We're not obligated to have a sergeant respond here at all. Okay, and I'm not obligated that? to answer any of your questions. Okay, but so nevertheless, you still are detained. Okay. And then we'll just. And I'm not moving. Detained for what? The rest of the day? <laughs> I don't know. That determines on you. You're running the show right now, not me. It doesn't determine any. It determines me. What, yes, because you're mean? because you're detaining me. I'm not yeah. detaining myself. I yeah. would like to leave at this point. Sure. You're saying I'm detained, so that's on you. So you're running the show, not me. Yes, and it could this entire thing you'd be on your way in a couple minutes if you just provided your information, but you're refusing to do that. So that's why we're here at a standstill. Okay. So we'll just remain at a standstill. Okay. George, right? All right, you're on body camera as well, okay? Okay. All right. So, is there any way I can see your license and then you'll be moved on your way? That's it. If, if you're, if we already know what the registration is on the vehicle and all that stuff. Again, I don't want to your questions and I wish I was screaming silent at this point. Okay. But listen, right now you're on township property. That, that's what we're talking about. And we're just asking just for your driver's license. That's it. We identified who owns the vehicle and you said it was you, correct? You're Matthew Prevo. We just wanted this done so then we can get out of your hair here. That's all that we're looking to do here. We're not looking to violate any rights or anything like that. You can, like I said, we're all recording as well. We all have our body cameras on and our MVRs on right now. All right? That's all we need to know. And then we're going to get out of your hair. That's all that we need. Confirmed it with the DL picture. Did you? Mm -hmm. All right. So We're I don't really know what the big deal is here, but you can go. So I'm, I'm not longer being detained? No. no detained. We finally identified. Excellent. Thank you very much. The cop said, we're not trying to violate your rights or anything like that, but that's exactly what he was doing. These officers had no choice but to let the guy go because he knew the law better than they expected. And I bet that's because he's been watching our videos. Wow, how awesome is that? This is a prime example of why knowing your rights is so important. This guy knew the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, and how to use them. Remember, knowing your rights isn't just about memorizing amendments. It's about understanding how to apply them when it counts. This guy did exactly that. And it paid off big time. We love to hear what you think in the comments. Your thoughts and experiences are always valuable and I'll do my best to respond when I can. And always remember folks, 
Recording the police can be your best defense. What's up, everyone? Got some activity over here. See what's going on. Hey, don't give me directives, buddy. Sorry? Don't give me directives. Just do your job. Me, right? I, I, I'm just do your job. Me, do your job. So he's probably calling for backup now because he's a coward. So we got officer 201 23255. He wants to give me directives. What's your name and badge number, bud? Officer Savage, badge 201. Hey, Officer Savage, don't worry about where I'm at. Don't tell me what to worry Do your about. job. Do your job. Street. I'm on a public easement. That's, that's I can be wherever I want. Safety, you like For your, your safety, you're you got a gun and a badge and a taser, you're and you're worried, worried about your safety? You don't. You can't ask me anything, buddy. You can't ask me anything. Bye-bye. Officer Savage here asked for his safety. Coward. I already know your name. Get it? I already know your name. I don't need it. I don't need it. Why'd you park and block? Why'd you park and block traffic? Yeah. You're a tyrant, ain't you, buddy? You're a tyrant, aren't you? Straight tyrant. I know I can. I know. You picked a hey, you picked a douchebag job, buddy. Just face it. You picked a job that people can't stand you. <laughs> And he's all worried about his officer safety. He had to call you here. Bunch of cowards. Got guns and tasers and billy clubs. You're scared of a man with a camera. Billy she, clubs. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 48 years old. How old are you? Probably older oh, than you are. Probably older no. than you are. No. Yeah. Little man. Nope. Whatever, little man. <clears throat> Just remember, your profession sucks. That's fine. <laughs> Clowns in costumes, welfare recipients. Has it's an all opinion? you are. It's not an opinion, it's fact, buddy. It's fact. You're a welfare recipient, that's a fact. And everybody wants a stage, too. Remember that. I don't need a stage. Yeah, everybody wants I don't a need stage. a stage. Yeah, everybody wants a stage. I don't need a stage to protest yeah, everybody you. Wants a stage. Number 184 here. We got number 203 here. 203. Now he's saying I'm going to try to get in his car. That's how much of a coward he is. all you want, but back it up. Hey, bud, when I break the law, that's when you can tell me what to do. Back it up. When I break the law, that's when you can tell me what to do. You're a law enforcement officer, right? That's right. You're not a feelings enforcement officer, get away correct? From these guys. I am not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. Walk over there and be a normal person. Walk over there. I am normal. I'm practicing my First Amendment rights.
What's your name and badge you can, number? You can record What's your name and badge Step number? Over there, man. What's your Step name and badge number? I'm asking you your name. Jansen, one seven nine. Yeah, right thanks there. a lot, Jansen. Stand over there. I'm not listening What's to your you, name? buddy. What's My name, name is Good Citizen. Right. Well, I yeah. gotta tell you, but you ain't gotta tell me. I that. don't have to tell. I'm a private citizen. Right, you right, took right. the douchebag welfare so recipient mine. job, not me. So you took the welfare yeah. recipient job. You just cussed at me, a member of society. You just cussed at a member of society, and you're a sergeant, and you're a sergeant. That's why the rest of your guys are clowns too. I'm staying right here, buddy. I'm staying right here, clown. Is that who you learned from, there, buddy? That's your sergeant. What a great department you guys got. What a great department, dude. That's why people can't stand you, idiot, man. Scared to death of a guy with a camera. You think I'd be dumb enough to go in your car when I'm filming it? Idiot, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, welfare yeah. recipient number one. Okay, welfare recipient number one. Make sure you tell your boot licking buddies to deep throat the whole boot. You gotta deep throat the whole boot. Make sure. This dude here. <laughs> oh, Make sure I don't go in the door. Make sure you watch your door. He might try to get in. What an I idiot. Am, don't worry. Four police officers here for a possible DUI and a guy with a camera. Filming in public is a right protected by the First Amendment which guarantees freedom of expression and information gathering. Courts have consistently said that taking photos and videos in public is a crucial part of free speech and press. This was confirmed in cases like Glock versus Cunefe, where the courts acknowledged that people have a protected right to record public officials in public places. In the video, the people argue that they have the right to film on a public easement supported by legal cases that distinguish public areas from restricted state property. They say public easements are meant for everyone, including filming and point to public utilities in the area as evidence that it's intended for public use. The correctional officer's questioning of the filming authorization shows a possible misunderstanding of state policies versus public rights. While security is important, especially near a correctional facility, it needs to be balanced with constitutional rights. The suggestion to contact a public information officer for permission while following institutional rules seems to clash with the broader legal permission for public filming. While law enforcement has a valid interest in security, it must be done without violating constitutional rights. The debate is about whether the precautions suggested by the officer are reasonable or if they go too far and limit public freedom. The main point of the interaction is the argument about jurisdiction made by the photographers. By saying they are on a public easement, they highlight a crucial legal boundary for their right to film. The difference between public and state property is important, showing that while there may be some restrictions on state property, public spaces have broader legal protections. We want to hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your voice is important in shaping discussions on important topics. Let's keep exploring, asking questions, and getting involved in the world to make sure our rights are respected and our communities are safe. The main thing in the situation is someone recording in a public place and talking with the police who question this. This brings up important legal and constitutional issues that we need to look into. The big point here is the right to record in public places protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution which guarantees freedom of speech and expression. Courts have said this includes recording government officials like police doing their jobs in public where people are allowed to be. Cases like Gleek v. Cunefe have made it clear that recording government officials in public is a solid right under the First Amendment. The officers asked for ID from the person in the discussion about if this was OK or not involved the Fourth Amendment. This amendment says people shouldn't be searched or made to show eyed by the police unless there's a good reason to think they did something wrong. The standard from Terry V. Ohio says officers need a specific and clear reason to suspect a crime. In this case, if the officers had a good reason to think the person was doing something wrong by recording in the office, asking for an eye would be OK. But since recording in public is usually allowed by the First Amendment, unless there's something specific that looks 
illegal, like bothering people or getting in the way. Just recording doesn't give a good reason to ask for it. The officer trying to stop recording and talking to the person might show a misunderstanding or not following the right legal standards for recording in public. Protecting the right to record in public is important for being transparent and accountable, especially when dealing with government officials. This incident also makes us think about past legal decisions and laws that say what's okay and not okay in public spaces.